I am a specialist, trained gynecologist with special interest in gynecology, ultrasound scan, laparoscopic surgery, uh, hysteroscopic surgeries. My main, most of my, my patients are with pelvic pain, fibroid, and early endometrial cancer. I do some patients with colposcopy. I do involve with fertility patients who has fibroid and endometriosis. My ultrasound scan training started quite early part in my career. I do gynecology ultrasound scan myself for all the patients who refer to me. I do train teaching and I have developed nurses and doctors who are very competent in gynecology scanning. The advantage of gynecology scanning by gynecology consultant or gynecologist compared to the sonographers is we look for what we encounter at the time of surgery or intervention. That will reduce the number of appointments for the patient and get the better outcome for the patients. When you say ultrasound scan, ultrasound scan is creating waves and the computer analyze the images that the, when the waves comes back. But when you have a transvaginal ultrasound scan, in addition to lower abdominal pelvic scan, we get more information because the transvaginal probes are higher in frequency, so they get better images. And when we do the scan through vagina to look at the uterus, lining of the womb, ovary, the structures are near to the transvaginal probe where the images are absorbed. So the images quality is better and we are getting more information. Also, people like me who are scanning for patients with endometriosis, assessing the scanning to use the assessment of the pelvic pain where is the pain rather than using a digital vaginal examination or speculum. So you'd be avoiding a vaginal examination, which is much, much more painful. Um, as I said earlier, the ultrasound scan waves is same where it's used in submarines or ultrasound scan machines. It's creating waves and bringing the waves back and machines understand an image. But we example in transvaginal scan, we have a 3D probe access. So the computer analyzes the images and giving a 3D imaging. Any scanning machine is same, but it's dependent on the operator and the quality of the machine. Any ultrasound scan machine uh, and depend, uh, performance is dependent on the person who is operating. So a patient who is looking for an ovarian cyst might take around five to 10 minutes. A pelvic pain might take long in young patient looking for endometriosis and uh, fibroid is much more shorter in time. So it varies from two to 15, 20 minutes, depending on what we are really looking for. Transvaginal ultrasound scan is not painful, but it's the process that, for example, a vaginal examination could be painful for patients with endometriosis. So we ex specifically look for pain tender points. That's number one. A transvaginal scan will be painful for any patient who has vaginismus or previous traumatic vaginal experience or woman who has achieved men menopause and not on HRT. Otherwise, transvaginal scan probe is not painful, it could be uncomfortable. There are no risks specifically for transvaginal scan compared to ultrasound scan. There's a theoretical risk of transmitting of infection, but we usually use a barrier method of every time when you use and clean the probe and through the barrier, usually we use a type of condom. So the risk is not additional. But if you are scanning for early pregnancy with Doppler, it's better not to use the Doppler because Doppler has a heating effect unless for a few minimal seconds. <laughs>